Good morning, everybody. Today's lesson is on theta time decay. And in this lesson, we're going to focus on call options. Number one, the premiums or the prices of out of the money call options drop as the expiration date gets closer. Number two, that's the reason most successful options traders prefer to sell options and get paid up front. And three, after you sell your option, wait for your options premium to drop and then simply buy back your option to close a trade and take your profits. Let's take a look at the one year chart of the SPX index. Starting June 2017 and ending June 11, 2018. This is a one year daily chart. On June 11, 2018, the SPX was hitting a triple top and it was trading around, oh, let's see, around uh, between 2775 and 2800. Yep, around 2782. And if you look at the slow stochastics, the SPX was overbought at this time. Overbought. It is at the top of the stochastics. And usually, this is a good time to sell call options because the premiums are much more attractive when the stochastics are in the overbought region. Let's take a look at the options chain for SPX on June 11, 2018. What I like to do is sell options that are about 30 to 45 days out. So 30 days left until expiration. And I like to sell options that have about a 30% probability ITM. That means 30% chance of being in the money at expiration. This number is also called a delta. So if you're using a, a trading platform that does not show the probability ITM, you could also use a delta. It's a similar number. This is the call option that I'm going to sell. This is the July 11 expiration date and the straight price is 28.20 and the bid is $11.20. So to sell this option, I'm going to click on the bid and that means I'm going to get paid $1,120 for one contract. And to come up with that number, you just take the premium, 1120 times 1 times 100. So you're going to receive $1,120 up front. Now let's jump over to June 28, 2018. And as you can see, the SPX is now gone down and the stochastics are in the oversold region down at the bottom. So let's review what happens to call options when the underlying moves up or down. Call premiums rise when the underlying goes up. Call premiums go down when the underlying goes down. So in this case, the SPX has gone down since we placed the trade on June 11. It is now June 28. And so it's been about 17 days. 
So this means that we've had 17 days of time decay as well as a change in the delta. The SPX has gone down, so we would expect the premiums of our call options to go down as well. That means we have a chance to buy back our option and get out of the trade before expiration. Now let's look at the options chain for the July 11 options. It is June 28. And as you can see, our call option is now trading at 55 cents. So the mid price between 40 cents and 55 is around 50 cents. So we now have a chance to buy back our call option for 50 cents, close out the trade, and take our profits before something bad happens. Notice that we still have 13 days left, 13 days until expiration. But I keep reminding you that you should never hold your options all the way until expiration because a lot can go wrong in the end. If you have a chance to close out your trades before expiration, I recommend that you do so. So remember that we collected $1,120 when we sold the option on June 11, and now we can buy it back for 50 cents. So 50 cents is the equivalent of $50 for one contract. So $1,120 minus $50 is $1,070. 1070. That is our final profit on this trade. So not bad, right? In 17 days, we can close out the trade and walk away with a profit of $1,070. Just for fun, I'm going to show you the chart of SPX on the expiration date of July 11, 2018. So notice that it went back up after we had closed the trade on June 28. So on the expiration date of July 11, the SPX closed at 2774.02. The straight price of our call option was 2820. So if you did not close the trade on June 28, and you decided to hold it all the way until expiration, you got lucky because the option still remained out of the money. Here's the options chain for the SPX on the expiration date of July 11, 2018. This was the call option that we had sold on June 11. So notice at the very end, on expiration, the call option remained out of the money and it was worth nothing. So if you had held the option all the way until expiration, you would have been able to just let it expire and then you could keep 100% of your original credit of $1,120. To summarize, when you are selling call options, it's best that you wait for the stochastics to be at the top in the overbought region. You will get a much better premium for your option. So sell your call at the top of the stochastics and then wait for the stochastics to come back down to the bottom in the oversold region and then you can buy back your call take your profits, and close the trade. It is definitely not recommended 
that you hold the option all the way until expiration because in some cases an option that was out of the money initially could end up in the money in the end and then you're going to end up with some losses thank you for watching happy trading